What's going on guys? This is Dungeon Master 201 and today uh, basically I'm recording over the original audio which is why you don't won't hear any of the uh, sounds in this game. I'm not exactly sure what was wrong with me when I recorded this but I didn't really talk too much in this episode because I spent like a good chunk of it just wandering around the way uh, not the way on the the Swampland of Maryland. And while I'm going through this, I'm going to be playing a soundtrack from the Halo 3, or yeah, the Halo 3 soundtrack. It's the bonus uh, track of the, uh, the disc. Because I thought it was pretty nice. So basically, uh, the first time I went through this area, or the first several times I played through Point Lookout, not mainly the first several, but the first time I played through Point Lookout, I was more of just get the achievement and just find everything. I never really explored some of the areas in its fullest when I first got this. So this is real, it's like, that was a, quite of a shock to me as I was going through this area because it, I was literally going through this mind blind. So I had no idea what to expect in this place and seeing a whole bunch of uh, swamp folk get blown up as I was going through here, I was like, what is going on? And it definitely threw me for a loop when I uh, got the speech challenge that will come up soon. I do have to say though, I'm looking over, uh, or I've been like paying attention to Genetics uh, Pokemon Crystal Let's Play and it's like, <laughs> wow man. It makes me like remember when I did a my let's play a Pokemon Gold almost a year ago I think it was. I really didn't like a uh, Pokemon Gold at all. It was more yeah it had the the uh, the wonderful thing of. Adding, it added uh, the breeding mechanic, it added a whole bunch of new Pokemon, but story-wise, I think almost everyone has to agree that it was kind of half-assed, mainly because like, the Snorlax that you run into near the like near the end of the game is stronger than 95 or it's at a higher level than like 95% of the trainers in the game. I think the game really sets you up for failure. I, I've never had a game that really that's like the only other game there's only one other uh, Pokemon game that I have ever played that kind of made you feel like that it's set to see that you fail and that was the uh, the Pokemon hack Pokemon Ash Gray because I was not expecting to be at ground level six, 50 to 60 and be fighting level 70s and it took me a good amount of time to level up uh, my guys to around 70 to even stand a chance at even winning 
Oh, by the way, uh, the, uh, what's going on here? Once you get the kid's permission and you sleep on that bed, it's the only bed in Point Lookout that'll give you a well-rested status. But as I was saying, it, Pokemon Ash Gray was meant at times for you to fail it. It's not meant for the person to... It's not meant for a person to be able to actually pass certain points of it or succeed at certain points in the game. And I think there was like two others other than that Elite Four area where you weren't supposed to succeed. The other was that Pokemon testing thing where the uh, Pokemon admissions exam, you weren't supposed to pass it. And the other was, I believe it was Pokemon the first movie where I had a bunch of level 50s take on three level 75s. But yeah, I'm getting a little uh, sidetracked here. So, uh, what's going on here? I kind of got lost. I didn't realize there was a uh, another exit, like, right next to the bed. Yeah, that's when I, 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 I even looked up, and I was like, where the hell is this exit? And, I, like, there was a ladder right in front of me. So yeah, that's basically it. That's the the Merzerg mines. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys 